Well, today I've got the mother of all chocolate tart recipes for you today. We've got uh, a chocolate cookie base. We're, making, we're using Oreos. We're going to turn it into a base. We've got a baked chocolate custard layer, and then we've got a chocolate glaze on top. And we're going to top it off with some fresh raspberries and some mascarpone. It's going to be awesome. Perfect for Valentine's Day. And we're going to make a little individual mould. And that is probably big enough and rich enough for two people to share. Well, here we are. We're back in the cafe kitchen with the dessert that oozes romance and opulence. <laughs> it's a chocolate tart. And made by you, Mark, this is going to be very special. So what is the secret to getting this right? Uh, lots of chocolate. OK, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And we're going to do it in stages. Right, so I'm, we're just going to get the, um, we're going to get the cream in the milk. Um, just up to temperature. Okay. And then this is going to be our middle layer of the chocolate tart. Yeah. So this is going to be the actual chocolate tart layer. So it's like a custard. Right. So that's right. cream, and then you put some milk yeah, in. Yes. So yeah. A little bit of milk. Yeah. Um, to make it tiny. Okay. And a bit healthier. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Not <laughs> Thin much out the cream a bit. Yeah. Good. Right. So we're just going to bring that to the boil, and then we've got some chocolate here. So 70% chocolate. So really dark. Right. Sort of that bittersweet chocolate. Right. So you need that when you're using it for cooking, don't you? The yeah. Dark of the yeah, yeah. 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 You want that? You want really high cocoa solids. Mm. Do you need all of it? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's all of it. <laughs> okay, great. Right, so we're going to bring that to the boil, take it off the heat. We're yep. just chopping this chocolate just down a little bit. We'll add it to the cream off the heat mm, so we yeah. don't burn it. And then we're just going to stir it in, and that's going to make almost like a chocolate cream. Oh, yeah. Right, and then we need to uh, we need to get the setting components ready. Okay, so we're cool. going to use eggs. So you can put two whole eggs into that big bowl there. Yep. Give them a whisk. Okay, cool. Got a little bit of uh, cocoa powder as well. Mm -hmm. So that's just going to give us an extra little chocolate hit. And we've got some brown sugar. So we're going to whisk all that together. Yeah, I love chocolate tart. And everything like this, a treat, is good in moderation. So don't you worry yeah. about it. It's a special a day, you know. <laughs> a special day every day for me if I had the option. <laughs> OK, so right. I'll use this. Yeah, whisk. So a little bit of brown sugar as well. Yep. So really give it a good um, good stir. Make sure that sugar's dissolved. Mm -hmm. And then once that's in, you can put the cocoa powder in. OK, cool. All right. So cream and milk's just coming up to the boil. OK, cool. You can, I think we've used the lumpiest sugar we could have found. That's all right. You're just making me work harder in here, <laughs> yeah. aren't you? That's, oh, that's the secret, I think. Right, that's so once, right. You, <laughs> yeah. once your cream and milk uh, just comes to the boil and it's nice and hot, I'm just going to put all the chocolate in there. Yum. And then just pop it just pop it down off the heat. Make sure you turn the heat off. Just give it a couple of minutes or so, and then you can just start stirring it. Chocolate will melt into it. That'll be really good. OK, good. So I think I've got most of the sugar dissolved here. It's looking pretty good. A cocoa powder. A bit of cocoa powder. Mm -mm. OK. Lovely. Well, this is good, because I'm basically... I feel like I'm working really hard. This is good. So <laughs> calories in, calories out. I'm going to be in deficit soon. I'll be able to eat lots of this. <laughs> yeah. Blood, sweat and tears. Yeah. <laughs> right, and then we're going to make the base. OK, cool. <laughs> I'll just keep whisking. You tell us how to do the yep. base. So, I mean, like, if you want, you can do, get some sweet pastry um, and do a base with that so you've got a nice pastry, sort of different textures of chocolate. But because it's Valentine's Day, we want to go all out, so we're going to make a chocolate pastry base. Well, it's not, it's just cookies, really. So we've got Oreo cookies in here, so I've just blended them just uh, nice and fine now. So you can see, got, it's almost like this sort of, like, powder of cookies. He's going to put just a tiny little bit of sugar in that, because remember, there's lots of sugar already in the cookies, so we don't need too much. And then some melted butter. And that's just going to hold it all together. Can't have a recipe without butter, can you? No, you're right. <laughs> and then we're just going to mix that together. Hopefully. I'm getting exhausted. <laughs> oh, hang on, this isn't fair. You've got the food processor and I'm whisking by hand. What is happening here? It's looking good, though, just quietly. Pretty excited about this. Right, that's, yep, yeah, that's good now. Right, just have a... Just uh, dry your whisk off or just get your excess egg off your whisk mm -hmm. and then just give that a slow whisk together and hopefully the heat should have just melted the chocolate and it should all incorporate okay. into the chocolate cream. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 there you go. So keep whisking that till it's all incorporated. And then you can add the hot cream mix to the eggs, whisking all the time. Can you, can you get this wrong? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's all, that's all mounted together now. That's our milk, our cream, and our chocolate, and here we've got yep. the... No, no, no. Cre uh, cream into the eggs. Cream into the eggs. OK, cool. And whisking all the time? Yeah, yeah, whisking all the time. Oh, I'm really scared I'm going to muck this up. I won't, OK. And just like that, that sort of pace? Yeah, yeah no, that's perfect. Yep, yep, good. Yeah, you can get it all in, that's fine. Oh, jeez, it's smelling so rich. Right, and then we've got... So we've got all these crumbs, so if you just, if you just check it, 
If you take a little bit, give it a really good squeeze and it sort of comes together, that's what you're after. And then we're just going to pop some in the base and then just squash it down. And we're just going to do a base and we're going to bake these in the oven for about 10 minutes, about 160 degrees, just so they're sort of nice and crispy and set. And then take them out of the oven and then you've got your chocolate mix and we're going to pour that over the top and then return it to the oven. So a little bit lower, probably about 140 degrees for about sort of probably 10, 15, 20 minutes to spend, depending on the thickness of your tart and the level of it. And then what you're looking for is like a custard, you know? So it wants to set around the edges and just dead in the center, have a slight wobble. Take it out, let it cool down at room temperature for about 10 minutes and it will be perfect. Wow. And then we're gonna make a chocolate glaze and serve it up. I am really excited about this, Mark, because it's coming along quite nicely. Okay, right now it's Mark and tart time. So how are we going, Mark? <laughs> Yeah, good. So we've got the mix there, which is yep. great. I'm just going to start the glaze. So I've got a little bit of cream in mm -hmm. here. Just going to bring it to the boil again. Right. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glucose in. So glucose syrup. Yeah, does it help set it? Yeah, I'll give it a nice sort of uh, viscosity to, for the glaze. Ooh, okay. And a little bit of sweetness there, but you just want to get all that dissolving. So whilst that's dissolving, we'll talk through our tart mixture. Yep. So it's been expertly made. It has. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Got the tick of approval, that's good. That's great, but sometimes, you know, if you're using eggs or if you're using a bit of cocoa powder, you get these little bits uh, still in your mix. Right. Okay, so a little tip for you, just strain it before you use it. So okay, you can strain cool. it through there, and then it's good to go. Okay. Nice. And then here's some I made a little bit earlier. So you can see the chocolate base, and then I've got the uh, tart mix on top, so that's just been cooking and it's set. Let it chill down. Put it in the fridge as well, just to demold and just to chill a little bit, and then we're going to make our glaze and we'll pour our glaze over it. So yeah, you're right. Great. See, look, I don't know if you can see that, but there you've got your little bits of cocoa powder that have been left over yeah. that haven't dissolved properly. So that allows you, with the straining, to get it out. So we've got a perfect mixture there. Yeah. Or you just whisk it properly. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So same again with the chocolate. Mm. Just going to chop it up. So just chopping the chocolate just helps it um, just dissolve faster yeah. and more evenly. Right. Cool. Get it in there. So we'll bring that up to the boil, pop the chocolate in, just mix it through so it'll be nice and thick. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And then, so it's just basically a ganache, really. Yeah. So we've got all these different layers of different layers, different textures of chocolate. It's going to be great. Oh, you excited be. yet? Yeah, I'm really excited. As soon as I heard the word chocolate, I was excited. <laughs> I got a little excited when you said tart too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll mix this. Do you want me to mix yes. this? Yes, yeah, so you cool. mix that. So what, what? another ingredient that works really well with chocolate is a little bit of salt. Really? Yeah, yeah, salt? No, yeah. just a little bit though, you don't want to make okay. it too salty. But it just brings out the flavour of the chocolate. So, you know, it's up to you. You can either put a little bit in the base, a little bit in the tart mix, or I'm just going to put a little bit into the glaze as well. It's just gonna, it's just gonna be great. You guys should try it at home. It's really Ooh. good. Just a little bit though. No, I'll take your word for it. I will do it. And yeah, uh, salt and caramel has been huge in the last well, couple yeah, exactly, of years, yeah. isn't it? So these people are worried about putting salt on their chocolate. Yum. And there you go. See, just bring it together. Softer heat. It's all melted. You see how the thickness of that? Yeah. And it's really rich. So ideally, you want to let this cool down just a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to show you now. Just gonna pour this mm. over. So pour oh, that it. looks that looks spectacular. Pour it all in the middle. Go to the edge. Mm-hmm. You know, nice and neat. And Do you want any of it to dribble over the sides? Well, it depends. I mean, you can keep it nice and neat, and I've oh, just messed it up now. So, <laughs> so, so we're gonna put some it. extra on and just push it over. <laughs> yeah, get, it's really artistic like that. <laughs> Chocolate I like coming that. over the edge. You ready? Look at that. Oh, that looks fantastic. <gasps> okay, cool. So we've only got the finishing touches yeah. to go now, eh? Yeah, and then all you want to do now, pop this in the fridge for about 10 minutes. It's just going to set, go really nice and shiny. Bring it out. Leave it at room temperature for about another 5-10 minutes before you eat it, and it's just beautiful and soft and rich and gorgeous. And I'm going to show you how to finish it a little bit later with some mascarpone and raspberry. So Mark's just done it with his chocolate tart. This is incredible. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. How's it looking, Mark? Uh, beautiful, actually. Very romantic. Uh, so we've just got a little bit of glaze on there with some raspberries, and then we've got the full glaze tart here. A little bit of mascarpone going on. A few more raspberries, and that is ready to go. Yeah. Oh, yes. you're not over. Um, woo! 
Oh, best end of the show ever. Thank you, Mark. This is perfect for Valentine's Day. Tomorrow, though, what are you doing? Well, it is National Lamb Day, so I'm going to do a lammy dish. Mm, Excellent. Nice. Thank you so much to all of our guests today for coming mm. into the cafe. And also thank you to you at home for watching. Tomorrow, the incredible Holly Smith will be joining us for a chat as well as a live performance. How lucky are we? And the coffee group look at brain development in our kids, so through dance and art and drama with Charlotte Nightingale and Nathan Wallace. Have a great rest of your day. Happy Valentine's night. Thank you so much for joining Ooh. us today. Thank yes, you, Victoria. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a little present for you. Have Shop a great day. Heart. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.